There's a reason why the homosexual co community continues to grow because we're weak. And I know you don't, some of y'all, oh, well, that's unnatural. Uh, I don't like homosexual. The reason why these young boys, many of them, well, first of all, a lot of them were sexually abused. And a lot of them, have nothing to do with a uh, single mother household. This black man, period, you're weak. That's your sperm. That's you. And the homosexual community is a is a, 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 a example or an image of you, of your weakness. So if you don't like them, you don't like yourself, that's just, that's an expression of your damn weakness. When you look at these warrior cultures, they didn't have that kind of problem. When I read about, about these warrior cultures, the Zulus and these warrior cultures in Asia and the, the Vikings, I don't never read nothing about their gay gay and lesbian community but you you have one because it's, it's a reflection of your weak ass you don't I don't have nothing to do with me <laughs> you weak ass Negro so you need to go to a channel somebody who can kiss your little knee and call you all these names that you don't earn. You are God and you're a warrior and all that kind of stuff. Go there so they can tell you a lie. When I call you a God and a warrior, that's because we earned it. I'm not going to give us credit. I don't want no credit for something I did not earn. You shouldn't want that. So on that note, we're going to get out of here. Let me check out some of these comments before we get out of here. And if there's somebody out there in TV land that want to come here and express themselves and put, put me in check <laughs> real quick, I'll tell you in your face. <laughs> Shout out to Instagram, Facebook. For joining us this this evening, um, it's hard to, to talk to my Instagram and, and to my uh, Facebook and do YouTube all of it at the same time. So I want to apologize to Instagram and Facebook. I'm not ignoring you. It's just difficult trying to to juggle all this stuff. <laughs> Let me look at some of the comments real quick. Let me put some comments on the board real quick. Razzy, inflation, food shortage, world elite, and Davos, Switzerland, talking about people will own nothing and be happy. It's a wrap. <laughs> Actually, 
when I was growing up and we didn't have nothing, we was poor. I mean, we had ourselves and our little family and we had something to eat and, and shelter. Actually, I felt happier having nothing than trying to get all this something because my family, we was actually closer than when everybody started trying to get all these cars and, you know, trying to be bougie. They conquered every black country in the world once those white rich uh, bastards succeeded. Now they can impose the new world order. It's a shame. And then Razzie, the Chinese and even North Korea had it right by isolating, arming themselves and keeping outsiders from having free access to their countries. See? Isolationists. Who Razzie is teaching here, okay. Slavery was our Achilles heel. It's so true. Integration was the beginning of the end. Let me piggyback off of, off of Razzie. <clears throat> I want to talk about integration. People think that integration is black people moving into white neighborhoods and getting white jobs or, or whatever, uh, 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 marrying white people and all this kind of stuff. And they get on Dr. King's case about integration. What does integration mean? When you get a black cup of coffee and you pour milk into the coffee, you integrate the coffee, right? Am I am I am I right? Is that's that's integration? Well, actually, it's osmosis. Scientifically, it's osmosis, but we're gonna that's integration. The fact that we live here. We're integrated. Now, just because there's a black community, a, a, a segregated community, and it's, it's black, and the white folks is on the on the on the other side of the tracks, as long as we are here, we are integrated. So Dr. King did not start integration. We was integrated on the slave plantation. We was all together. You understand where I'm coming from? So don't blame Dr. King for integration or don't say, well, because of integration, we always was integrated. We was forced to live in our own communities, which most people would do that anyway. It's, that's just natural. When you go to a school, most black children will get with, with black children. Most Chinese children will get with, I mean, that's just a natural thing. People want to be with people who are like themselves. But the school is integrated because you have black children, Asian children, white children, Indian children, whatever. The school is integrated. It's diverse. We live in America and you can build you can have an all black state. You still integrate it because you're still part of the United States of America. If you don't want to be integrated, then, you're, then you need to go to Africa or China or wherever. And then the only thing you're going to do is integrate with somebody else because you don't control nothing. You don't have a damn thing. You always going to be integrating with somebody because you have nothing of your own. When it gets to the point where you can control the land, the resources, you make the rules or whatever, and then even when you have your own, doesn't mean that, I mean, you could, but it still don't mean that you would, that uh, 
you won't be integrated because you may allow people from the islands to come to your your new country. You might even let a, start letting a few white people come in if they was cool with us. You might let them come in. We just humanity is just diverse. Humanity is just diverse, y'all. So integration is not the problem. The problem is injustice. It wasn't integration. It's just injustice. And the way they played the integration, it gave us the illusion like you was getting justice because you was able to sit and eat at a, a counter or you was able to marry a white woman. It gave us the illusion. But we're integrated. You can't hide from that. You can't hide from integration. Now, I think segregation would be better. You still integrate because you're in this country. But segregation was much, much better because it gave us an opportunity to do for ourselves because there is no justice. It's unequal in the society itself. But we're still integrated because we still have to obey the laws of the United States of America. Even if you segregate it, you still are under the authority of those who have the power to enforce the laws of the United States of America. Now, I might be off. When I say that, I might be off. I'm here to learn things too. Razzie, I might be off, Razzie. If I'm off track, please, please tell me. Because I, I might be, I might be wrong. That's the way I, I look at it. You can't, you can't, you can't avoid integration. There was something else that that uh, Razzie said that I wanted to piggyback on. Let me see if I. Oh yeah, <clears throat> Razzie was talking about the new world order. I just want to say this about the new world order. The only problem with the new world order is if it's corrupt, because we need a new world order. We need humanity to be different. We need humanity transform and begin a metamorphosis outside of this, this place where we find ourselves right now. The problem with the new world order is that the new world order that we're thinking about is corrupt. That's the problem. But we need a new world order because clearly this, what we are in right now, is toe up from the flow up. And it has nothing to do with race. People are suffering. People are suffering injustice. People are starving. People are being brutalized all over the earth. So the new world order that I believe Raz is talking about, the only thing they want to do is continue the same old, same old, and they want to run everything. They want to be able to say who lives, who dies, who eats, who starves, and that kind of world order all of us should not want, and all of us should fight against, and we should not allow that to come into existence because the few, the few that actually Thank you.